Are those supposed to be giant eyes or something? That being the nose? I have no idea. Seems like a lot of strange incidents have been happening lately. They're still happening. Yeah, what the hell? Was he just a freak or what? I've said I'm smart, but I'd never seen the formula he posted out of the blue. Like you'd know every single formula in the world. No way, dude. I tried searching for it, just in case. At times like this, it's easiest if you just run a search. Yeah. Could it be that he simply typed in some random meta formula to make himself seem intelligent? I just didn't get it. This equation has killed the world's possibilities. What? I don't follow. Yeah, I, I'm with Taku here. I don't follow at all. More importantly, what's the link from the 4? Would I get more out of it if I played along and clicked it? I thought you might be interested. <laughs> and he sends a whole lot. Kong's URLs went up at an incredible speed. What's going on with this guy? Is he getting his kicks by intimidating me? Maybe he's a friend of Grimm, working together to pull the wool over my eyes. Could be. <laughs> Sensing the gaze again. I looked around my room. Naturally though, all that was there was the room's unchangingly dim and messy interior. An unidentifiable terror. So it was already normal for me to feel like I was being watched. I couldn't get myself to calm down. When I tried putting it into words, I realized that I realized that my voice was shaky. Why are you talking to yourself? Well, he's talking to whatever is gazing at him, but sure. My familiar my familiar messy room felt like something altogether different. Well, that's weird. It's sad that after you watch a fear-mongering TV program, or go to a horror movie, or hear a scary story from your friend, the careless air of your own house, which you should be used to, becomes so frightening that you can't go to the bathroom by yourself late at night. To be honest, dude, I've never had that. Never. Sure, when I was a, a little kid, like seven or so, I'd watch a, a, a scary movie in the middle of the night because I couldn't sleep. And then I was actually scared for a little while. And it took me like five minutes longer to fall asleep. But you're exaggerating just slightly, dude. Just slightly. Right now, I'm having a similar experience. <laughs> I like how he's actually, you know, using abbreviations and current slang on the internet, like troll. It's kind of funny. Shaken up and leaning in towards my monitor, I... Without thinking, I put pressure into my right index finger and clicked on one of Shogun's links. It's going to do a jump scare or something, isn't it? I'm going to lean back. <laughs> Well, that didn't look good. Wasn't that some face with the sword things in it that Grimm actually drew? It looked like it. Honestly, I don't know why I did it. It's not like my hand moved on its own or anything. Without thinking doesn't describe it at all. It was possible for me to regard this pure mistake, but the motion of clicking had come to me Oh, but naturally. And just now he's reacting to what he saw. <sighs> what filled the monitor screen was a photograph of an object of art. Something like the spikes of a hedgehog or a needle stuffed flower arranging tool was stuck to a wall in the shape of a cross. Oh, there are crosses then. 
A reddish black puddle had formed underneath the giant flower arranging tool, with its needle sticking out all over. I think it was just a face of a corpse or something. Considering it's just told us about the incidents and Grim made a joke about it, and it's probably the same, isn't it? And I couldn't make them out. There were also a number of small garbage like lumps strewn strewn around. Seriously, what was this? The work of some puffed up self proclaimed avant garde artist? They show up a lot. There's people who create gory looking works and unabashed unabashedly say it expresses the chaos of this world. I had no intention of coming to understand that kind of moronic art. Still, it was a mysterious image. It wasn't directly girl. It only reached the point of having a girl esque sense to it. Okay then. Despite that, why? Did it feel so raw to me? Why did it give off such a strong presence? Because you're paranoid, dude. And delusional. That's probably why. Is it possible to hallucinate the scent of blood entering your nose? Enough to make you choke? Is it possible to experience an illusionary smell so vivid that it brings about nausea? A stabbing pain struck my temples. My nausea wouldn't stop. <laughs> Don't throw up, dude. I desperately tried to grab the mouse, but my hand was shaking, and it didn't go well. I was so frantic that I failed to grasp it, and it slipped off the desk, trying only its cord behind it. I reeled in the cord, set it back on the mouse pad, and closed the window. And what leapt into my relieved sight was... many more links. Who's are, who, whose eyes are those? That's Takus saying, isn't it? That's creepy. That's really creepy. Did he just imagine... No, he didn't imagine Shogun, because Grim also re responded to him entering the room. What? That's creepy, yeah. I glared at my self-titled minimum attendance shift chart for school. Yesterday, I didn't get to watch Baraccio in real time, but after that, I watched it on YouTube. Yeah, sure. Keep avoiding the Google, Yahoo, and YouTubes. Sure. It wasn't a real problem. Even after watching it, something still felt wrong. What Shogun said right before I closed the chat window. It was almost as if he'd seen through the fact that I cowered in fear of God's gaze. It was too much of a mere coincidence. Maybe my personal information was leaked on ESO. Maybe it was someone who didn't like night art. I thought about the different possibilities. A godlike existence like mine has many allies, but also many enemies. Well, the enemies were basically a kind of side effect of the popularity. Of course they'd be there. People who envied night art's strength and popularity childishly tried to provoke me. It was just a matter of ignoring them. But this was different. The fact that I had no clue who Shogun was worried me to the point where I logged into ESO. I couldn't concentrate at all on the hunting. On top of it all, today was... Why? A school day. Oh man. According to my minimal attendance shift, shift chart, I had to go. I really didn't want to go, but if I didn't go by my minimum attendance shift chart, I'm getting really tired of saying that, my calculations would get messed up, and in the worst case scenario, I might have to repeat a year. Even though I'm sleepy. I fought off a yawn and trugged off towards school. It takes about 10 minutes to walk from my base to school. My mood sank lower lower soon after I started walking. Yeah, okay. My body felt heavy. It was hard to breathe and I started to sweat. It's always like this when I go to school. Why do I have to go to school? It's such a painful event. 
muttering balefully to myself. I kept moving my feet forward all, this, all the same, head down watching the asphalt white line. Renton Choto Park. The school's right on the other side. That's kind of a, that's kind of nice to be honest. To be able to walk to school through a nice little park. That's not bad in spring and summer at least. Housewives took their morning walks, and salarymen sat on the benches reading sports new newspapers around the park's pond. Definitely doesn't sound bad to me. Even though Shibuya was so crowded and noisy. The park on the outskirts, outskirts was quiet and perfectly fit the expression. A place for relaxation. I sat down on one of the benches too. On the way to school, it was a habit of mine to eat breakfast while gazing at